Tell me again how to start the camera. Press the red button. Press the red button. Okay, then you turn on the uh, GoPro. Okay, today we're going to install the engine uh, mounts. I hear so many people on the forums talk about how difficult it is to get the engine mounts in place. And uh, I'm going to show you it's really not that difficult. The engine mounts ready. The one with the uh, ridge around it is the hard one, and it goes on the back on the top, and it goes on the inside on the bottom. So it's the same mount, but you orient it differently. Whether it's on the top, it goes like this. On the bottom, it goes like that. And on the bottom, you also have to add an extra thick washer between the crankcase uh, and the cushion so that's so the cushion doesn't hit the cutout on the bottom of the crankcase and we're gonna start with the top mount which is this one it could be any of them it just depends which way we orient it and you have this one first we take the nut the washer off I'm going to do this one first. I think mine are backwards. Yeah, that's the bottom. The one I have oriented for the bottom. Spencer's going up in his helicopter. Anyways, uh, put the biscuit back there. We have the spacer, the bolt. Let me get this one started first. Look for the hole. With the engine loose like this, you can just move it around so you get it in there. There. Put the washer on it and the lock nut. Put that in place. Put that in the big hole. You just put it inside the hole. It's in the hole? Yeah. Push it hard. I think this is... Okay, now you can get the nut and washer on that one. All right, the top two are done. So people say this is difficult? You made it look really easy. It is really easy. Next, to get the bottom ones in, we have to jack it up some. So, get the jack in, we're gonna jack it up. Let me want to stop. What we're looking for is to be able to get the cushion in. Now 
take this. Okay. Put it through there and through there. And then it has to go through this. Put this in there. Yeah. Put this on the bolt now. In the hole. You see the hole? Oops. I can see it, but I'm trying to get this not on here so I can get it in straight. Is it in the hole or near it? Um, it's in the hole. Okay, push it But hard. this thing isn't straight in. If you can get the nut on or not, let me get this side in. Well, there's already a washer over there. Okay, well, use it. No, the bolt isn't far enough in. Hmm. Jack it up just a little bit more. A little more. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. Now I got that bit in. This is on straight. No. Get some more hammer. Mine too as well. Hard. Hard. Well, I don't want to swing back and hit that. See, I. Okay. Well, sometimes you gotta use the rack if you get it. Difficult about it. There we go. Something wasn't sitting right. Now, try and catch your bolting. Is it because the other side wasn't sitting right? Yep.
I'm using all metal lock nuts. All metal lock nuts. Real-time camera is up there, Papa. Real-time camera. All metal lock nuts is what we use so we don't have to mess with the cotter pins. Hold that. Get this one snug up. What kind of rhythmic sound does a ratchet when you get going? Definitely trying not to crash into the motor mounts. Ruin the powder coat. Get this ratchet over here where I can swing it a little bit. Somebody told me they love the sound of that wrench hitting the floor. I am annoyed when it happens. I would be annoyed too. It is loud. It makes a nice ringing sound. It does. Nice to hear that rain. We haven't had rain for weeks. Yeah, rain like. There we go. That's nice and snugged up. And uh, there we go. Our engine's mounted. What was that? Ten minutes? About. Go ahead and take that hook off. Get the torque wrench out and torque them to spec, and that's all job all done. Did you die? Hey.